everyone, it's June here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, well, thank you so much for coming on board. It's great to have you here. Wherever you are around the world, I hope you are staying safe and feeling fabulous. Feeling fabulous? That was not me last week, but I want so much to get back into rhythm. So let's get rolling. Now with the current lockdown situation, but even as I'm speaking to you now, it is already being lifted in most places, um, some good did come out of this. Now, I do recognize that some people are having a hard time, uh, like businesses and people whose jobs are affected. I'm not making light of that situation, so do not come for me. Um, but what I really wanted to say that uh, I am in some ways glad to see that the universe, the world around us is getting some relief from the constant noise and activity, the constant construction, destruction and reconstruction. Um, I think, you know, I am by no means what one would label an environmentalist, but I do know that you don't want to mess with Mother Nature too much and expect no consequences. Now before the lockdown, I would go for regular walks and there is a particular path that I really enjoy uh, and uh, I was quite surprised that um, of late, I, I've seen otters. I've never seen otters along this canal before. And uh, one day they just popped up and uh, it's kind of cute. So um, I'll just roll you the clip. Getting some sun out in the open, it's good for you guys. Get some exercise, go outside and play, but stay away from people. <laughs> Okay, I know you're wondering, what has that got to do with books? Well, it's got something to do with this book, okay? Eating Chili Crab in the Anthropocene, Environmental Perspectives on Life in Singapore. Now, when I first got this book, um, I was a little bit apprehensive, guys. You know, I'm, I'm usually more of a um, fiction and true crime kind of girl and um, this book just I thought like it's um it's gonna be very academic right and that's a little bit scary for me guys you know I keep it real here guys I don't even use like fancy literary terms and my review is really just straight up me telling you how I feel about a book right um, so I was a little bit worried and the sense that I'm going like oh is it gonna be like um, a whole bunch of PhD students presenting their papers and then I have to go through them. Um, I was really worried, I'll, I'll be honest. But then again, first of all, let's take a moment to appreciate the cover. It's so nice. It's, come on guys, right? Okay, right back to the content of the book. Now, what has that got to do with otters? First and foremost, there is actually... Um, There are like a, a collection of stories, I would say. Uh, I would call them stories in a sense that because I don't want you to think that it is all very uh, yeah, research based. It's all, you know, it's all full of scientific terms and this and that. And, you know, you might find that like a real, um, you might find that a little bit challenging. Okay. Um, but not because you're not smart, because I know you're all seriously clever people because you're tuned into my channel. Right. So, um, it's just that it might be a bit, you might think that it's a little bit dry. Um, but you know what, surprisingly it, it is not, I mean, I, there are stories about, you know, literally eating chili crab, about tigers, about sand. Uh, yeah. Even something as what you think is mundane as sand, uh, there, there is a story in there behind it. And it's not fiction, you know, because as you read, you are actually learning so much as well. And I really, um, I, I, honestly, 
because it is like um, a collection of um, articles and stories, I mean, okay, I should stop saying stories, right? Because it's not like made up. Okay, but anyway, I'll, okay, I'll, I'll refer to them as articles, okay? Um, the thing is, they are really enjoyable and so informative and seriously not a scary read, okay? Guys, you will not be overwhelmed, don't worry. If I can handle it, you can too, okay? And um, because they are individual articles, so you, you can actually read this um, like, you know, one article a day or one, one a week. You don't have to like read the whole thing through at one go if you don't want to but it is great to have it by i would say it's great to have it by your bedside because if you don't want to read anything that is um like a thriller you know um or or an epic novel before you go to sleep you know you can actually read one of these articles and it is something that you know helps you to uh, relax and it also makes you think a little bit about the you know the actions that we take on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. Because I need to travel to my students' place, especially when I go and tutor them, and sometimes it's a bit of a long ride on the train. And of course, now you are actually, um, you know, you are advised to not talk while you're on the train, whether talking to uh, somebody else, another passenger on the train, or even on the phone. So you know what you should be doing? You should be reading. So this is a great book. This is your companion for your long train rides or your long bus rides this, this will be great so um i just also wanted to let you guys know that um they launched um ethos books who are the publisher for this book um they they had a, on, an online launch on uh, last saturday so um you guys should check out that video because um, the contributors, some of the contributors, not all of them, some of the contributors, including the editor, Matthew Schneider Mayerson, he was, um, he was on the uh, online um, launch as well. And um, I think it'll be great if you guys, you know, kind of like, you know, watch the video. I did because it kind of, well, first of all, it's nice to see the people who have written uh, or contributed to the book and hear their opinion and uh, about things and, you know, their points of view, which is very interesting. So um, again, guys, like I said, I'm no, I'm by no means a greenie in any way, but after reading these um, uh, articles in here and, and you know, um, I feel that you, you actually play a bigger role than you think. I know a lot of times when we look at what's happening around the world, we feel really helpless and we're thinking like, well, I'm only one person, what can I do? Um, I can't make any changes, but actually every little thing around you, we're all interconnected. And I think it was Jane, Jane Goodall who said that, you know, we're all connected. So we, we don't, and, and I've mentioned this before as well, we don't always all have to do great things, you know. We can all do little things. And if we all do little things, it will still make a difference and um, it would still matter. So go check out the launch video. I will put it in the description box below. Um, so guys, I would advise you, even though you think like, you know what, it's about the environment. I'm not really interested. It's too sciencey for me. It's no guys do not do not fear this book is actually a, a very enjoyable read i mean i'm surprised myself to be honest right as you know like i don't well, once i left college i go like you know i'm done you know i'm not gonna read anymore anything academic anymore uh but not at all you would enjoy this and you'll find that the stories here are very relatable and i feel that you know if you read this and it'll be great i uh, it'll be great for even like um, for younger readers as well. I mean, it, mm, of course, not like if you're five, but I'm just saying that it's not just for adults. I think um, it's it's great for teenagers as well. I think it would help you to uh, put into perspective on on the the roles that we all play in um, looking after the the, um, the earth because you know this planet Earth is the only one we've got and we have to take care of it. I know this video is a little bit brief, but I really just wanted to touch base with you guys and, you know, mention to you about the launch of this book. 
you can get it at all good bookstores or check out the Ethos Book um, website to order a copy for yourself. to the end of this episode and we are also fast approaching um, the end of June and that means the first half of the year has gone past just like that. I hope it has been kind to you uh, despite of the lockdown and you have great things to look forward to in the second half of the year. So um, please give us a thumbs up that would help us out so much. Stay subscribed to my channel, turn the notification bell on so you do not miss out on anything. July is coming up and that means that we are going to be having a giveaway and you do not want to miss that. So guys, as always, remember to be kind, be strong, and be brave. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!